Now, the Target 12 investigators are uncovering a multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme. Federal investigators are accusing a local man of bilking investors of more than $10 million. And we've learned investigators say he even used some of his clients' money to buy a multi-million dollar waterfront property in Barrington. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Patrick Churchville's Barrington-based financial firm is called Clear Path Wealth Management, but according to court filings, the federal government says there was nothing clear about his dealing, taking investors of more than $10 million. This 3,100-square-foot waterfront home overlooking Narragansett Bay in Barrington is owned by financial investor Patrick Churchville. In a 37-page civil complaint filed Thursday in federal court, the Securities and Exchange Commission says Churchville used $2.5 million of his client's money to buy it. The filing states Churchville misappropriated and misused his investors' cash and assets through a years-long fraudulent scheme involving theft covered up by false accounting entries, shadow accounts, and misrepresentations. The SEC says the Ponzi scheme caused his investors to lose at least $11 million. The SEC complaint filed here at federal court is a civil filing, so Churchville has not been charged criminally. Target 12 has learned federal investigators are examining this case, but the U.S. Attorney's Office would not confirm nor deny a criminal investigation. Target 12 visited Churchville's Barrington offices, but no one came to the door, which was monitored by a security camera. A lawyer for Churchville said it was premature for the SEC to put a price tag on the losses, saying there are still a number of assets in existence. The ultimate goal is to return as much money as possible to the investors. A sign outside Churchville's waterfront home shows it is now up for sale. The SEC filing is asking a judge to halt Churchville's operations and freeze the assets in an effort to repay some of the $11 million they say was taken. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.